It had some lovely, lovely weather watching pictures come in though uh, because of those uh, downpours that we had. I'm sure my graphics are going to fire eventually. I'm sure they are. Here they go. Okay, yeah, basically uh, it's the calm before the storm right now. We've got a little ridge of high pressure. Now this is coming in for tomorrow evening. That's not storm, Dennis. This behind me is the real troublemaker for the weekend. Plenty to talk about, but not really at the moment because that ridge of high pressure keeping us nice and settled through the night tonight. Some clear skies allowing the temperature just to fall away. Yeah, we're down to freezing, so we're looking at frost, some scraping on the cars tomorrow morning, and potentially some mist and fog patches at first as well. But then some sunshine for a time before that front that I just showed you starts to make its presence felt with a thickening of the cloud through the afternoon. I think we'll largely stay dry until the end of the afternoon, but the winds are picking up too. Here are your gusts in excess of 30 miles an hour, a mild day though. And then let's go through the night tomorrow night, show you that rain started to really pump in. And this is the problem that from tomorrow evening onwards we go through with rain and we keep it as storm dennis approaches at the weekend it all kind of gets tangled up but the other thing from dennis of course the squeeze in the isobars there's very very strong winds the rain just pumps in through saturday and for us in the southeast through parts of sunday as well on already saturated ground so we've got a number of met office weather warnings for the weekend including this the most serious for sunday we've got an amber weather warning that rain will just keep coming through the day on Saturday, dry wind to lose at times. The wind gusts an issue as well, where we've got damage already from Kira. Plenty to think oh, about. There is, mm. isn't there? Okay.